on July 3rd, uh, 1971, uh, Jim Morrison died in Paris um, under what can only be called mysterious circumstances. We don't know what, uh, what happened to Jim in Paris, and um, I don't think we're ever going to know what happened to Jim in Paris. And uh, the last time I saw Jim was uh, in the recording studio when we were doing, uh, finishing up uh, the album L.A. Woman. And that's actually the last time uh, Jim Morrison was in a recording studio, the last time he ever sang, to my knowledge, uh, on planet Earth. Certainly the last time he ever sang with the Doors. But the last recording session, the last time Jim Morrison ever sang with the Doors was that haunted little whisper voice of uh, Riders on the Storm on the L.A. Woman album. And after he did that, he said, uh, I'm going to Paris. Pam's already over there. She's got a little apartment and got it all set up. She left a couple of weeks before me, and uh, I'm going to join her over there in Paris. We said, well, that's interesting. Yeah, Paris, huh? How long are you going to be over there? He said, you know, I don't know. A couple of months? Six months? I don't know. Maybe, maybe even a year. Who knows, man? I don't know. But I thought, that's great. Paris is great because that's the city of light, the city of artists, an American in Paris, uh, Hemingway and Fitzgerald and Henry Miller. And, man, that's just get, get away from all of this L.A. stuff and this whole rock and roll thing and become a poet again. Become the guy that I knew back in Venice, the guy that I knew in uh, film school at UCLA, the writer, the artist, the good guy, the good human being, the funny human being, the intelligent, sensitive energized young man that I knew back in Venice and I thought this is going to be great go to Paris and do it man start to write again start to become an artist just be an artist again don't be a rock star be an artist and off he went and he said I'll see you brother and I said okay man you know just uh, stay in touch and uh, we'll talk to you in a while I got a phone call uh, telling me uh, that Jim Morrison uh, is dead a phone call from this guy that was our manager and he called and said uh I just got a phone call from Paris saying that Jim Morrison is dead. And I said, ah, get out of here. I don't believe it, man, Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison said, Paul is dead. There was a lot of, everybody's dead at that time. Paul is dead because he was walking across the street on the Beatles album, Abbey Road, and he was walking out of step and he didn't have shoes on. And in Italy, if you don't have shoes on, that means you're a corpse. You had a suit but no shoes. That's how they bury a corpse. And see, he's out of step with the other three guys, that means he's dead. You know, people were starting to get a little death obsessed. Manson had happened. And, you know, I said, I, I, I don't believe it, man. It's, it's those death rumors, you know, uh, because Jim, it, here's a funny story. Jim, and, th th we were at a party, you know, and, and uh, Jim was supposed to be at the party, didn't come, was a little late coming to the party. Somebody runs in and says, Jim Morrison's just been killed in an automobile accident. And, oh my God, oh my God. Five minutes later, Jim walks in the door. We said, Jim, Jim, man, I thought you were dead. He said, no, 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 rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. You know, always quoting somebody, a Mark Twain quote. And he said, oh, you, you know. And then it was another time he had fallen out of a window and he was supposed to be dead. So when I heard the story that Jim Morrison was dead, I said, oh, yeah, that's ridiculous, man. It's just more of that paranoid death stuff. And uh, this guy said, no, 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 this time I think it's serious. And I said, well, just make sure this time, will you? Three, four days later, I get a phone call. This guy says to me, we just buried Jim Morrison. I said, what? I said, what are you talking about? I said, yeah. I said, wait a minute. This is like a rumor. This is not a rumor. This is not a silly little paranoid fantasy. You mean he's dead? Yeah, he's dead. We put the coffin in the ground. Cemetery is called Père Lachaise Cemetery. It's right in Paris. Beautiful old cemetery. Edith Piaf is there, and uh, Isadora Duncan is there, and uh, Eloise and Abelard, and uh, you know Celine may be buried there for all I know. And Chopin is there, and Moliere is there. So there's a lot of artists there. Beautiful old. I said, I don't care who's there, man. I don't. Wait a minute. What happened? Uh, guys, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I, well, yeah, I mean, was he hit by a truck or something? Uh, no, 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 his heart stopped. His heart stopped? What are you talking about? I said, how does he look? How does he look? And this guy said, I don't know. I never saw the body. I said, hold it. What do you mean you didn't see the body? It was a sealed coffin. They buried a sealed coffin. And I said, you mean, you don't, you, you didn't say, open, the, let me see Jim Morrison. I want to see Jim Morrison dead. You're telling me Jim Morrison is dead. Show me Jim Morrison dead. Jim Morrison was never seen dead. That coffin was put in the ground, covered over, and that was it. I said, that's it? He said, that's all I know, man. I'm telling you what I know. I was here. I, he's dead. He's dead. Pam was all broken up. I'm telling you, was, Pam was just crying and weeping and everything. And 
I just couldn't bring myself to open the coffin. I said, oh, God. And uh, we're waiting for Jim to come back. All of a sudden, Jim Morrison, it's not only is he not coming back, Jim Morrison is dead. 